What's going on, party people? Welcome back to the second episode for Broken Age. And uh, as you remember from the last episode, it was, I'll admit it, it was a little bit boring. Because, I mean, you didn't really get told, but then that was the reason that you're supposed to, like, kind of feel that this, the Shay's life is very mundane and repetitive and boring. And it happens over and over in the same damn cereal all the time. No matter what he chooses, looks like it's the same damn cereal. And uh, finally, we switched something up. He lifted the bridge from the Sleepy Man or Snowman or Snow Mountain, whatever the heck it was. And we fell all the way down, and it was exhilarating for him because it was finally a change from his normal routine. And some weird, mysterious fox-looking dude comes up and says, Find me if you want real danger. And so that's where we kind of left off. So here we are. Uh, let's see what happens now. He's fake sleeping to trick the computer. Let's see what we can do here. Weird. No missions. I can do whatever? Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Hmm. The Probably air means vent I is screwed some shut sort of with these weird little special screws. screwdriver or something. Or, wait a minute. It works! Hmm. Interesting. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. Very interesting. Okay. It's locked! What a dirty trick! Hey! What are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fake snoring. So there's nothing else around here. Just once, I'd like to see a huge flaming asteroid hurtling in our direction. That's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. I wonder if... Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. What the heck does Gary want to grab Nah. That? Gary doesn't want to grab that. Compressed air. I don't think that needs any air. Compressed air. What the heck else can I do here? No, I took it. Fair and square. Okay. Oh. Health stats 100% normal. As always. Maybe. Why do computers need sleep? Health stats 100% normal. As always. Maybe I'm the robot. Missions canceled until further notice. What am I missing? <laughs> Whoops. I can go in there, okay. Hey! What are you doing out of bed, Buster? Um... How would you trick a computer with a spoon, a toy robot, compressed air, and a rat? I don't think that will help inflate it. Oh. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow up doll of me. Creepy. Figured.
Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Ha! Good. Hello, freedom! Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. <laughs> How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny, and may soon be executed. But... Yes? We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function to keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Okay. So now you gotta ask the question whether this guy can be trusted or not. Excuse me, Merrick? What are you doing? There's no time to waste. Take that vent to the navigation room and give that star chart to the space weaver Time right to now. save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. Okay. I apologize. It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little protective. Oh, don't go that door. Go here. Ah, the young master has come to play with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires. As long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. Time and space? What is he, a time lord? Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Wow. No need 
true thought. Just doing my job. Right. Well, let's go see what Mark is doing. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <sighs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. Lower the shields? I don't think that's a good idea. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject, then press this to engage the grappling sequence. I got it! Great work, Shay. Something now the boom fishy. arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement what? controls to position the ship. Careful. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! We can get him. Oh. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Oh. Give me the star chart. So this is a coming-of-age story. Chart. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he Oops. Sorry to skip this. As long as it is safe and. There we go. Star chart. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. <laughs> Preparing decryption mechanism. Yeah, great. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. Securing subject and cargo hold. Careful. Got him. Great work. Oh, there's another. Wait for it. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. I don't see anybody else. Oh, goodness. Go on. Move the ship. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. This is a waste of time. A waste of time. There is no need. You can okay, save one more, then you do it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... 
Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... <laughs> Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Uh. Oh, so brave. Kinda weird. Actually, this is kinda... Timely. Does anyone see the movie Her? It's, I mean, it's not the same because obviously they don't have like America, a love relationship with each other. This is like mother and son. Still interesting in terms of humans having a interaction or deeper connection with robots and machines and all that. What is this? Why is he there? No. Ship under attack. Everything's fine. Uh, well, you're half right. Yeah. Young cop, you must come see me right away. Another distress signal has arrived. Oh, so how come she didn't notice that I was... That's weird. Any luck with the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. So, how long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. What? Oh, it's are not a fox, it's a wolf. Really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. I better get back to the mission. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. Interesting. How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the overmother. Okay. How are we going to take down the shields? I have a plan. The shields require so much power, they have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. This seems a l really dangerous to be to him letting him take control of all these parts of the ship. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver, and hope for the best. Okay. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. 
The bat system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes, safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Might I suggest somewhere safer? Like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile System? No way. I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, young master, but my programming won't allow it. Forget it. If we can't go to Prima Doom, I don't want to go anywhere. Please don't be angry, young sir. If I could override this directive, I most certainly would. How does if I go through here? Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice. But what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. Please. I've heard the story of the Sacrifice Girl a million times. I know the ending. The Sacrifice Girl is you, right? What I'm trying to tell you is that... I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. Yes, my love? Computer? What's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Operation Our Dandelion? Our whole Laruna was dying. So we set sail on the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. A new home? Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> Never mind. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could knit you some new friends. So what does Dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Uh... Well, I gotta get back to taking over the ship. <laughs> Oh, sweetie, you're so funny. <laughs> wow, like oblivious. Okay. Where's that guy do? Oh, goodness, no. It's a whipped cream gun, and it's mine. Do we really need all that whipped cream? Yeah, to keep you away from that ice cream up there. There's no stopping you with that spoon. Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the avalanche mission protocol. Hey, we're supposed to be on break. Nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much. You know, just chillin'. <laughs> He's been waiting for you to ask that for a long time. Right. 
Look at all that ice cream. Don't try to steal it. The bath is dangerous and covered in... with cream! Okay. When the candy and treats are all you can eat 24-7, they just aren't that appetizing anymore. Oh, wait, it was glowing just then. Is there a way I can melt any of this stuff? No, no. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. No. I'm going to go eat all that ice cream. I wouldn't. The road is dangerous and full of whipped cream. Also, you're going to get super fat. <laughs> So where else can I go? I've got to go do old, put those headphone thingies on that fusion orb core or whatever. Teleporter, activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean the junk room? Yeah. <gasps> no malfunction, no malfunction, no malfunction. Hey, my... My head. What's wrong? My head is smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. Duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. Huh. I gave up making art years ago. And if no one's around to see it, who cares? How did I manage to win second place that time? Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. As soon as we get full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. That should be for acting, acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. I wish she'd get rid of these. My paper mache is she bronzed my first space shoes, or I made a hexy pal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. I wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old teeth? Hair? Oh. So I'm definitely getting the understanding that all these characters and environments and things are set up to kind of mimic what happens in real life. You know, we get tired of our parents' rules and boundaries and you... As you get older, you want more in an adventure and taking more risks and, you know, the parents aren't easy about you doing that. Judging by that. the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out, but it's for their own safety, I guess. Hmm. Oh. Okay. So that's where Merrick is. Oh, that goes back to my room. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? Hang on! Hey, my head's back to normal size. That's because you followed the rules and went back through the proper teleporter. Teleporter, activate. This way to the fusion orb containment facility. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Remember to somewhere. come back through the way you came to avoid dangerous cranial alterations. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Full radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. 
My head is smaller, but still not small enough to fit into this helmet. Uh, how do you make my head smaller then? Unless you make the helmet bigger. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. How can you make it... Well, guess we'll have to figure out in the next episode. My head is Catch small you, Boos and Goos, later. Small enough to See ya. Bye. Bye. Teleporter.